Start. Start. Welcome gamers to our twisted reality, wielding my sword and taking out hordes. <laughs> joystick. The joystick show. Welcome everybody once again to the okay. joystick show. You're laughing already? We haven't even got into this yet. All right. What? Well, yeah, nothing. I was just laughing at the way I was trying to hey, get ready. Look at me. Look at me. Look into my eyes. All right, you ready to do a show? Yep. It's been like so long, I don't even know if we know how to do these shows anymore. I know. Right? It's crazy. So, hey, Robo Pack, how you doing? Welcome to the uh, audio version, my buds out there, as well as to the uh, YouTube land as well. We are the Joystick Show. We go by our gamer tags. I am Vogue Spear. That wasn't funny. I am Thing 12. I don't know. Oh, why. I just gave it's myself just a paper cut weird. doing that. Not good. All right. How you doing? It's been a while. Good. Yeah. Great. Yep. Good. We're talking video games. We've got uh, a ton. Matter of fact, I don't even know where to start because we don't get to these enough now. It's like I got a laundry list. I don't even know like news. I don't even list it out anymore. I just know there's a ton of stuff to talk mm, about. So let's get to it. Um, so how do they contact us to be a part of the show? Because we are going to do some guests starting next next month. Yeah, next month's show. We're going to have some folks in town. We're going to rock it. Um, yeah, so you can get a hold of us, joystickshow at gmail.com, which is our email, joystickshow.com, our website. Or you can tweet us at joystick underscore show. And, of course, you can always um, comment on our videos that you're watching. So. All right. Very cool. So uh, let's get started. Well, before we do, we do have our sponsor. I don't have my sheet to you know, let people know that it's out there. But it is. I got it right in front of me. It's right here. It is the gaming tray. The recycled TV trays of the 80s converted into the perfect gaming remote station. Pop it in front of you. Right in front of your recliner, aka gaming chair, with a holder for energy drinks, a spot for your cheese waffles, and a recharging station for extra batteries for those marathons in front of the big screen. Just eleven ninety nine per tray. Eleven ninety nine per tray ships in a pack of two. The game tray. Order yours today. All right. Huh? We could use a few of those. That's for nice. sure. You know, especially just a, like a holster for my uh, my nine volts or my um, double A's. Oh, that would be so cool to sell holsters for nine double A's. <laughs> right? Pop useless. them in. Huh? You know how how little batteries run out, or how yeah often like yeah I know I know you'll have to be wearing that around for months. Oh my god! I didn't even put this on for the beginning of the show. Do you remember okay. what this is? Sort of. What was it? I remember. What okay, so really... people that are listening don't even know what I'm doing. I put a white sparkly glove on. It lets it just goes down right about to you know it's like those white gloves when you're doing the uh, the catering. Mm -hmm. You don't remember what this was? Oh my god! I remember it went to the Wii. Yes, it was a Wii game. It was the Michael Jackson Wii game. Now you know what I'm talking about, right? Beat it. We never it. played that though. I don't don't you make me repeat it, right? Mm. And you had to use the glove, and somehow the glove it knew you were doing stuff with it. I get all this stuff still just like packed away and and, and stuff. And how do you just throw this away? I Come on, that was just decoration. I don't think it did anything. It didn't do anything. No, I don't know. But I'm going to wear this out now when I go in the town. Right? Mm. It'd be great. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it was. I think it was called the Michael Jackson like thriller thing, whatever. Oh, we'll get to our. Uh, our, uh, what did I call this now? It's been so long, I don't even know. Nostalgia Station. Nostalgia Stand. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, let's talk. Uh, first, on the gaming front, what are you doing? Uh, right now, I I mean, I did a lot uh, as far as, like, trying new things. Yeah. Uh, for the main, the big thing is we tried out the Game Pass yes. on the Xbox. Boom! Um, so, we're trying that out. What do you so, mean try it? How do you try out the Game Pass? It just is trying gonna be everything with our, on it with us for life. It's like a little baby. Wah, wah. Yeah. What do we call it? Oh, it's a bouncing baby game pass. Well, I could go. I could talk about so many different games that I play. Like a whole show on it of just um, uh, like just cause four. Why don't four. you do that? Why don't you just come in here and by yourself in your own lonesome do a whole thing? On <sighs> I don't know how to work that. 
sound stuff. You're the oh, sound guy. I don't know how to work the sound guy. You can guy. do it. Come on. But, um, yeah, so I, I, there's, a, there's a lot of new things, but the biggest one, the biggest ones I would have to say are uh, the Astroneer. Outer Worlds is one of them. Yep. Astroneer is big for me. It's not that big a game, but it's a fun game to play with friends. Um, Outer Worlds is almost like a Fallout, if you know about it. It was super popular a while ago. It's like a Fallout 3, but in space, and that's really fun. Right. Um, those are the big ones that I've been playing. Okay. I know you are trying out a few with some friends on it as well, but yeah. um, I guess, I mean, it, I've just been trying a lot of them out. Like, Just Cause 4 was great. It's just the same as Just Cause 3, though. It's just a great way to try the games that I was kind of hesitant right. about getting. Right, Because I knew... Didn't want to go to, like, Redbox and, and mm-hmm. rent them for the Netter. It's it's an unbelievable deal. I don't know why we knew it before we should, especially yeah. with this show and everything. But here's the thing. I'm about to watch. No spoilers. Don't be texting in or sending in or emailing spoilers on The Witcher. I'm about to watch that, right, on mm-hmm. Netflix. And I'm realizing The Witcher, The Witcher 2, and Witcher 3 games are all on Game Pass. So if you love it, which the series I hear is awesome, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to go back and I'm going to get to play the games and play them um, along the way. There's a co-op version yeah. of them, I think, on it as well. So that was one thing I saw. I know Grand Theft Auto, that's kind of a news story, but that's in. That's now... Uh, that's um, new to Game Pass. Right, that's new to the game, but relatively new since, you know, since mm-hmm. we haven't been on in a while. Um, and uh, so that's available, but there's a ton of games. So it's, I love how you can like strat- do strategy games, RPGs, you know, regular shooters, that type of thing as well. So yeah, a lot of little indie games too. Yeah. Well, the biggest game, well, the one I'm playing right now because mm-hmm. I love, is I don't know if uh, which is actually the reason we got Game Pass because I told you about it and you were like, oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta have it. Cool. So I might as well do it. Yeah, because I was gonna spend you know whatever I think it's thirty nine ninety nine now or maybe twenty nine because it's an older game, but it's which a, is <clears throat> what's that? A good oh, amount. the game we're talking about is uh, World War Z. Playing World War Z right now. Playing it with old peculiar um, co op. We really should have four people, so if there's two uh, folks out there Robopec that want to jump on with us, please let me know. we got two spots. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't play a ton, but when we do, we get it at it. Yeah, I tried that a while ago with a friend before we even got it, but yeah. I love what it. Say about I it? think it's fantastic. I love it because for some reason, there's like the game is designed to where there's just hordes and hordes of zombies, if you haven't played. Um, and what happens is you you have to look at the map, design it, and do choke points to, and set up like these big extra big guns and like electricity and it's almost like pre- prepping for these just waves of of zombies now you can kill them pretty easy so they're not difficult well yeah but if they they finally get on top of you there's no way you can stop it like it's like finally overwhelms you so you have to really kind of set things up put yourself in the right spot choke points to make sure you take people out and i gotta tell you what it's one of the most satisfying games well yeah i've played when you finish taking out like two thousand just zombies all crawling up walls together like in the movie if you saw the movie you know what i mean it just take them all in one shot <laughs> right it's just blowing them all up yeah that's that's what sets the game apart is that like mm. it from other zombie horde games is they found a way to do it to just get mass on oncoming hordes by making them like look really bad from far away but you, they're like the graphics are horrible they're like but you don't really notice it yeah because they're all coming in and then when they get up close to you they're good the game graphics are actually really good right um but yeah it's crazy how many come in and you set up they come in from just like um stumbling over each other coming over gates and you're just mowing them down with your um and it's cool because they all have different kinds and then amongst the hordes there's these special ones there's like one that gives you uh um, d- d- infected, infect yeah. you. Ones are bombers like um, 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 Siege. The yeah, guy which can through, blow up other like, zombies too. Yeah, he blows up cool. everybody. Doesn't matter. There's one called the worst one is the bull. It's this guy that uh, looks like he's a um, SWAT team guy with a big outfit. He oh, runs yeah. up to you and grabs you and boop, 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 just takes you mm. out and like ruins your uh, health. The only downside I would say is in many games the save points on them yeah. are. Horrible. Um, you have to go through pretty much the entire section. If you get right to the end and die, you have to start all the way back yeah. at the beginning, which is tiresome. Many times we turn it off because I'm like, I can't do that. I can't go through that again. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? After all that, I need some downtime. So, but if you've not played uh, World War Z and think, oh, it's a movie game, and I've spent many of my decades on the show and just talking video games, why I've never been a huge fan of games that come from movies mm-hmm. right with the exception to laura croft um i believe that was before or was that the one after there's a game that was uh, really good it was the uh, um 
the movie and then the game. But most of it's the game than the movie if it's going to make Tomb it. Tomb Raider? Yeah. Um, I that. Oh, Tomb I Ra- played Tomb Raider, by the way, on Game Pass. You too. did? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. That's awesome because cool. that's got all the puzzles and everything in it, mm. right? That's from the original It was almost Xbox. like, um, it was actually, it's funny because I say it's like Jedi Fallen Order, but Fallen Order is like Tomb Raider. In the sense that literally everything you do with the climbing, you know, I have to click a button to actually start climbing. Um, there's combat. All that stuff is like almost the exact same, except for the fact that it's Star Wars. And there's and what did I say when Tomb Raider and the lightsabers? It, it looks like Tomb Raider. Reminds me of Tomb mm. Raider. Totally. So, so yeah, yeah. It, it's almost exactly like that. It's fun. That's but, cool. Very cool. Yeah, for World War Z, um, I, I was just gonna say that like. When I was doing it, my favorite part about it was the classes that you have that you can choose to set up different strategies. Like you could have someone who blows stuff up, and setting up and blocking a section. You can have a medic. You can have a uh, a big gunner or like. Oh right, you can be classes mm-hmm. too. I'm the um, extinguisher, so I do a lot of fire. So I have Molotov cocktails. Oh yeah, that's very helpful. That yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. Which is cool. So if you get four people, each you in a different class, each have your own special thing. Like if you have a medic. Right. Fixing everyone up as the other three people take them all out from all angles. Exactly. Well, it's really cool. So, yeah. No, I look forward to it. If anybody in the Roman Pack want to jump on and give us a try, we got the two spots. Shoot, I'll even pay the dollar to get them the Game Pass for the two. (laughs) They have to send me their mailing address. I'll send you a buck. Um, It's a dollar for three three months, months, which is crazy. crazy cool. Get the game. Try it. It's awesome. You'll love it. Um, All right. So, that's uh, Game Pass. Is that what we're doing right now? Right? Pretty Mm -hmm. much a little bit and everything. Good stuff. All right, it's time for the news. Let's jump into it. The Joystick News Report. Joystick News. All right, so jumping into news, um, I guess the biggest news is we actually went to um, Pack South. Yep. Right, the first of the year. It was uh, what, with last a few weekend? friends uh, last weekend. Yep. Yeah, we went with uh, Consume Gorgon um, and not Jashinator 5K, <laughs> whatever it is now. I don't even I don't know, what know. It is. He. You know what he goes by. No, I think he just changed it again. Did he? All right. Well, for ten bucks, you can change it all the time. Kids spent more money in name changes probably than anything else. Mm. Um, but we went to uh, Pack South in uh, San Antonio, Texas, actually, and um, a lot of fun. Like I said, is a is an all around. I consider myself an all around geek. I think I've spawned an all around geek too. But we've uh, we play uh, both uh, board games as well as video games. And uh, it's always a good time. Why? Because it's really close. i uh, got friends down there we can stay with, so it's better. If I was going to travel, I don't know if it's a traveling show, meaning I, unlike mm-hmm. Gen Con that I'm going to, right? Yeah. Excellent. But it's not so much that. So I don't think you're going to get a lot of travel because it wasn't that impressive of a show. Now, it's got uh, Dice Thrones, which is my favorite board game. What would game. you, like, we stayed, we did that for Saturday, right? We just went one day. Yeah. But it was two days. What would you do the second day after going this Saturday? Um, I probably would... See, I don't know if I'd gone the second day, or if I did, I would have been upset because there's not a lot to do after that. What they didn't have this year that they had last year was painting, miniature painting for real geeks, right? So I might have gone back and done more painting or something like that. But Or I maybe would have tried more of the video game demos because I didn't spend any time at uh, Hello Neighbor was there. Right. Yeah. Doing that, that, which they do a great build. job on their marketing, by the way. Yeah, they had they introduced this new game, uh, Secret Neighbor, which is like a, a multiplayer Hello Neighbor, where it's kind of like uh, I don't know, it's really cool. Yeah. I didn't really check out too Did much you, of it. But... You didn't demo it. No, we were going to like we got there really early and we were gonna all play it, but um, we decided to go do something else. I forgot, and we came back and the line was really long. Yeah, so. the lines are long there too. I mean, there, it is a well attended show, so we got to give mm-hmm. them that. But. Um, um, with that said, like I said, there wasn't a ton of uh, crazy good stuff. Like the two years ago, I went. Uh, I said Capcom was there launching uh, Monster mm-hmm. Hunter. I mean, they had the huge dragon. Yeah, that, that picture cool. and everything. It was fantastic. I waited in line. Nowadays, an hour. all these conventions are just run over by Fortnite and all these uh, competitive things that are just like yeah, not well, interesting. Yeah, heavy competitive. Overwatch was huge there. I guess they had a ten thousand dollar prize for Overwatch to win it at the event. Bang! That's a lot of cash, right? Now, yeah, I stood there and watched people. it for 30 seconds got bored to death over it. Spawn die, spawn die, spawn die. Blah, 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 done. Mm-hmm. That's my age showing because I probably would have been into it more then. But did you see him do it at all? Did you watch him play? Yeah, but it's the... not, like I said, it's not fun. It's just like... Sitting there watching other people mm-hmm. in neon lights play, right? Yeah. And the funny thing is he had these two guys, and it must be kid, 
uh, kiddos or maybe guys are watching it, but there's literally two people with a podcast going on and they're talking about it. Oh, look, it had, had the, did you see that they had the uh, monitors talking and everything about it? Yeah. Oh my God, he just got beat. Well, we knew he was going to do that. Yeah, they had, they had like teams. They had chairs, five computers, yeah, it's five normal. chairs it's a normal, on each side. Um, um, MLG. So MLG was back in the day when Halo did that with yeah, uh, Straight um, Ripping and all those guys. And so it has been going on still this day. It's not so much the mechanics I'm making fun of. It's just watching the commentators yeah. commentate on it. So yeah. It's, I don't yeah. Know. I, I understand. But we were actually, like, we heard them commentating from over when we were doing something else. And I looked at them and I, I it, the dude sounded so much like you. Like, for some reason, like, the sound of the voice or whatever. Yeah. And all four of us look at each other and we got nervous because I swear, like, I thought you went up there and started talking. <laughs> I was like, that's something you would do. Probably. I'm like, that better not be. So we walked over and then we saw what they were doing there and what the competition was. Maybe but... I should do that for a living. Maybe I can get into it. Mm, I don't I'm know. Like, oh, look at that beat down, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he did it. Totally teabag him. Teabag him right there in front of everybody. Yeah, you yeah, no. won't be good. It would not no. be good. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we checked out. Uh, we caught Pack South. Good times. We'll go back for at least one day each year to um, check out what's going on. They did a good job. Um, all right, what else we got in the news? We got a whole list of stuff because there's a ton that came out about PlayStation Five. Quite frankly, right? Mm -hmm. But there was some Xbox news. Um, what else was there about it? Give me the topic and we'll roll through it because I know there's some good stuff on it. Yeah, so just some play PlayStation Five features. Yeah. Um, they talked about, um, I remember, they talked about having a faster SSD, right? Um, yeah, high-speed SSD, 3D yeah. audio. What is 3D audio? I mean, I know surround sound audio, so maybe that's, that's it. They, they try to find another way within the headphones maybe to do something. I don't know. But uh, if anything, it's just like 7.1 7 surround sound maybe. But they have another thing for the controller, though. It's called Heritage. Haptic and, feedback. Haptic. And haptic adaptive and triggers. adaptive feedback on the controllers. That, my friends is going to be the difference in for the PS5. Do you even know what that means? Yeah. So the controller uh, means it's touch sensitive. So there's a part on the pad that only you have to do is touch a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's not going to be a factor at all. No? The PS4 has that. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It does on the actual buttons. I'm, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have it on the pad. It has this on, big pad that is touch no, sensitive no, where you no, can rub it. No, 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 on the top of the joystick, on the top of the things. Like you push, you move it more. I think it moves faster when you start to move it. There's something else going on there besides that. Uh. Because I know it's a new feature that's on it. Also, adaptive, right? Those are the new joystick controllers that have the extra buttons, right, on it. Isn't there something that makes them... Or no, the triggers are like triggers. a little bit or a lot, right? A little bit or a lot. That's cool. That's um, going to be different. That's adaptive what you pay triggers. For. Yeah. Yeah, which is actually going to stop a lot of problems with like... Like you could buy these things. They were like... They are way too expensive, but... Uh, they're just pieces of plastic that go on the trigger to make it so it stops the trigger at the very moment that it will actually activate it. So it pops. So you could click it really fast yeah. for people who are really trying. Yeah. Um. So it's like it gets rid of that. You can't do that anymore with the PS4 gotcha. or PS5. Yeah. That oh, might be good too for competitive reasons. Um. So I know those are some good features. Anything else? I mean, the SSD. Um. I know we're, everything's getting faster that way. You know what I mean? As far as uh, load mm -hmm. times and stuff like that. Was there anything else that was uh, of. Uh, uh, for the PS5 itself, it doesn't look like it. Okay. No. Um, what else do we have in there? What else we got on there? Something about uh, Xbox. Didn't they compare Xbox um, to the PS5 as well? Yeah, <clears throat> so comparisons we have... Um, I, I guess it's just going to be the performances. Right. Uh, so... Well, I know for a fact, it, as you're looking up there on it, that they're talking about... Um, uh, 8k that's yeah okay 8k versus so 4k and now these both the consoles are going to come out as 8k now the interesting thing is i've you talked have to have an 8k tv right too. and i've talked to people that outside of um you know there's there's no reason to do 8k at all because there's barely enough 4k right now right out as far as streaming and stuff goes but here's the catch and here's the prediction of what i see i see a couple of uh uh articles and stuff talking about it I think that the TV industry is going to catch up with it and going to make 8K, but they're going to do it very specifically for gaming. So in other words, you're going to buy a gaming TV, a, a, a LG gaming TV, a Sony gaming TV, and the 8K is going to be designed to hook up with these consoles. Yeah, it feels like it... Well, I mean, like... Oh, never mind, keep going. I'll say it later. It doesn't really fit in okay. what you're saying. Well, because, I mean, the bottom line is is that there's really a, no need for it. 
mm-hmm. outside of video games. So, because the gaming industry, I think, is keeping up with pace faster or with technology and, and, and pushing technology yeah. to enough to where there's enough gamers that a, 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 a TV company will go, okay, this is a gaming TV. And you're going to buy it, it's going to do 4K, it's going to do everything else that a regular TV, I don't know about projectors, but it, you know what I mean? Like regular TVs will do it. So I think we'll see um, some more focus on that. What my thing is, I don't see how it gets better than 4K. When I look at a 4K movie, oh, when I'm watching you, a 4K you know movie. I'm wait, no, what when I'm, I'm watching a 4K yeah. movie. That, that hurt, actually. Go ahead. Did it? Um, I don't get how it gets any better. When I'm looking out of the eyes, it already looks better than how I see things. So well, how can... Because your blind is a bat. No, 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 no. How can, like... It is. There's a difference. It's a depth. So it's depth of field. It's. I think it's gonna. You're gonna see more realist, realistic depth in the games because they can do the interlace. They can do the graphics and do everything. Yeah. And then. Well, I get gaming. Gaming can definitely get better. Oh, okay. I'm talking about movies. Oh. And um, actually, 4K. Yeah, that's like, kind of tough. I get tough. gaming graphics. That's gaming tough. graphics obviously can get better to almost where they look like movies when you're playing them. Yeah. Like that much well, better. Well, they're pretty close now. Jedi Fallen Order. Sometimes I couldn't tell the difference. Yeah. Um. But. Oh, the other thing is PS5 is also doing 8K, so both of them, right? Xbox and PS5, are, gotcha. are both doing 8K. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much what we know on them as far as comparisons. Uh, besides, like you know, the controllers. I know the Xbox X controllers are having the share button on it. Yep. To instantly share instead of like doing something in the menu. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. That's about it. Yeah, instantly share. I think that's a big. We talked about that. I think the last show a little bit that I know they were doing it, but mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, so there's gonna be some uh, some new stuff. I think it's not gonna be as uh, as fancy, right? Matter of fact, I think we got news right about um, uh, Xbox compatibility. They're actually talking about um, Xbox being not backwards compatible focused, but forwards compatible focused, meaning that all the games that you can buy on on playstation 4 or on uh, xbox one right will not only work on uh, um the series x mm. but it will kind of up up scale it or do something to the games something like that that's going to make them really valuable to have the back you know the, the yeah. games before so um th- and with that said they're also saying there's really no exclusives so that's forward compatibility meaning they're not going to make it so this game you have to have the system so not the other ones for ps5 or xbox thing xbox they're not making any exclusive okay games. well for one halo infinite's an exclusive no yeah it's it good no next not exclusive only for x series you can only play on the x gear oh. series that's my point is you'll be able to play it on all the other consoles as well now um ps5 um they're talking about backwards compatibility because they're saying it's going to be backwards compatibility all the way to the original sony station playstation and maybe Genesis or something. Backward, as in like you playing games from them onto the PS5. Yeah. Okay. I'm wondering when I when I think about this stuff, I think about when I like I was younger and I used to play Skylanders, and you'd have you get a new game every year, and then finally when you have the most updated game, you could use your um, old Skylanders on the new game, but you couldn't use the new game Skylanders on the old game. Right. So that's what it is. So we definitely so we definitely can't go from that's how you you perceive. I don't know. So we definitely can't go from the X to the or meant the, that Series X to the X? Like, or the Xbox One? We can't go from X to the Xbox One. They'll this is such confusing together. games. Yeah, no, they'll all work together. There's no separation. So if I got a game that's Series X, I can play it on my Xbox yes. One? Yes, yes. Then what's the point of getting a Series X? Because how fast it'll load the game. And oh, and the, does it have and no the, loading times. Right, it's like a lot of different things on that. You'll just see it better. The graphics probably be better mm-hmm. on it. So they'll still be there. It just mm-hmm. will push the envelope. Um, but I know PlayStation 5 has a game called God something. It's not God of War, but God Smack. No, um, that's a that's a rock band. Um, another game, I can't remember the name of it, but they are going to have an exclusive for the PS5 no. that comes out as well. Check it out and see if you can find it. But um, that's the one thing I did see that came out that was uh, pretty All impressive. Right. So, um, yeah, so that's what we have for uh, PS5 um, details, Xbox series details. Anything else that you show? No. No. Nope. All right. There's a, like I said, a lot of it's just about the the consoles because that's what everybody's talking about because that's really that's the mm-hmm. only thing out there. Um, and I don't know if there's any new games. We'll get some new releases coming up as well. But um, all right. So that's the news. This concludes your joystick news report. Joystick news. Um, what do you want to jump into? We got time, right? Because we got you got a little action going on with the riff rap. The uh, VR. What are you rapping about? Uh, so actually, I'd say about a week or two ago, 
yeah, two weeks ago, I got uh, the VR game Swords with Sauce, or not Swords with Sauce, that's a different game. <laughs> Swords with Sauce? <laughs> that, you, you wrote, is that where you, 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 you take a, a sword weird... and you put it in and you stir the sauce? No, the sauce is blood. I will take an eye The sauce the is cat. a metaphor for blood, because oh. you're just oh, brutally you. murdering everyone. Oh. Um, and I got Blade and Sorcery, is okay. what it's called. I don't know why you call it Sword, something messed me up. But um, Blade Swords. and Sorcery is a VR game where you basically it's like a medieval fighting uh you're in an arena and it's very realistic as far as like sword movements like if you have a bit heavier weapon yeah you're gonna want to move slower so that it it'll do more power like if you go really fast then all of a sudden your hands will in real life will be over here but your hands are still moving towards it um and the game does that on purpose to get the sense of heavy objects and uh, if you do follow it and go slower it does a lot is more, more powerful and is you can it? just like decapitate people Right. Uh, it's is, really brutal. Is that the game cool. I spent about half an hour I could never get out of the cabin <laughs> at the beginning yeah. of the game? I you, still could not find a way out of that cabin. Plus, I was getting vertigo like you wouldn't believe running around with that. I don't know when you played, but I was able to get a mod onto it. The Star Wars mod, which... So this is the main thing I want to talk about, because this Blade and Sorcery by itself is... Yeah. Uh, is it's No, it's a fun game because you can like force How objects... Much is it? Uh, 1999. Okay. So you can force objects, you can jump, you can kick, you can just stab through people. There's plenty of weapons, but you can actually download mods to it, which makes it a lot more fun. And I got this mod called Outer Rim, Outer World, Outer Rim. It's a Star Wars mod. Okay. And it has like a ton of different lightsabers, like 25 plus lightsabers and uh, like blasters and things that you can fight with so it basically adds more weapons to the game not only that it adds star wars maps mm -hmm. that you can play on and it adds kyber crystals so what you do is you you can take any lightsaber and hilt that you want and kind of customize it oh, with your nice. own color and then you fight with it and what's really cool is in the original game they already had this was like a force lift so you can force weapons up and pull them towards right. you spin the them around type of stuff yeah uh, so yeah you are basically already have the force with lightsabers that, you know, go in and out. There are a bunch of wizards running around with lightsabers. Yeah, it's really cool, though. And you can... The main thing that was really cool with the lightsabers, but you have blasters. Uh, what else was it? There was another thing. You could wear, like, Darth Vader helmets, or you can, like, customize yourself out. Um, and I forgot. There was another really cool feature of it. Well, oh, I really wish I could have a chance to play it. I couldn't do anything. I just kept running around getting vertigo in, in a cabin. I couldn't get out. Oh, you yeah. said you had to do something or click on some map. Yeah, you I tried it. I tried to grab it and it'd be like... Yeah, I don't know. It was, it's You have to like... I don't know. You were probably just yeah. not thinking right. It's, you just had to, you just had to go just out the door. not thinking right. It's during my life. It's called age. How did you... I don't get it. You could have... You just had to walk five feet to no, this door. No, I'll show you when we're off... When we're off camera. Okay. I'll show you. Okay. Because it's nuts. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Anyways, go ahead. So, yeah. Uh, I got that. that outer rim thing, but... Um, In our VR room. What yeah, else? What I mean... Something else you just downloaded. Oh! That's right. So, I got uh, Payday 2 as well. Payday. Payday yeah, 2. Payday 2. Okay. Yeah. Because it's it's been out since, like, what, 2012? Something. It's a long... It's an old game. Yeah. But me and my friend wanted to pick it up because it was like stealth missions and it came out on VR. So we got it for that. Um, so now we can go around in VR and on like stealth missions and stuff. We tried it out, but I, okay. So I will say on VR, the stealth missions are fun. It's really fun, to, but only when you're playing multiplayer and like you can go around and like search corners. If you see someone back up, steal uh, things from like uh banks and steal money and diamonds from museums and things like that yeah and that's all fun but if you ever play loud it's called loud in the game is where it's just going in guns blazing it's not fun it's it's just gets it gets just annoying and right. you get headaches and right. vertigo <laughs> and the music is blasting because mm -hmm. it's like paydays has like a soundtrack i remember that was part of the game yeah they go, ah! yeah so it presented me but oh, you know the cool part about it is when you're going around, you're you're um, heat cutting your way through different gates. You're like silence killing people and then stuffing them in a bag and throwing them in a garbage can or what? something. Well, that's a really good game, boy, Dad. Dad of the year, letting your kids play that game. Well, you know it's fun. It's fun to play with friends <laughs> and <laughs> steal you know, stuff. Fun. And then you, with the money you earn from the things, you go back and you buy more equipment for the next heist. It's really fun like that. But um, that and that's the reason we got it. 
Okay. So yeah, that's Payday. Um, so two VR games. Yeah, but you can also play it on the computer. If you buy the game, you get it for VR and PC. And I actually played it on my that? PC as well. Uh, ten bucks, but I got the twenty dollar version because it came with extra cool heists. Oh. Um. So yeah. Cool. And um. But yeah, playing on PC, the loud version's fun, you know, with like the um, like going and guns blazing because the music's nice and everything. It's not, you know, it doesn't get you sick. Right. So that's fun, but cool. yeah. All right. Nice, that is the Riff Rap. Deal of the week. All right. Yep. Um, I don't know. I don't think we have a deal of the week, right? I guess the deal of the week is the Game Pass. Game Pass. Ten, a dollar for three. over 250 games for th- Crazy three good. months I mean, is perfect. If it's... you're like me and don't get to play every last new game that comes out and play it all the time mm-hmm. and, and then solve it within three days like these guys... Beat you it. can't go wrong. If you're above the age of 35 and a gamer, you can't go wrong with this thing. It's the best value ever because I know you probably got a gig, a job. You probably don't have as much time as you used to have, and you want to play games. I just hope Halo Infinite comes out on Game Pass yeah, as good. soon as it comes out. It probably won't. Yeah, but that's going to make me go back and have to do uh, and 3 and uh, 4 and 5. Or no, did I solve 3? I don't think I did. I don't know. Um, I have to go back and solve all the other ones. Yeah. Or ask H-Bomb what the storyline is so I get caught up on it. Yeah, he knows everything. About it's crazy. Kind of funny. All right, so that's uh, that uh, deal of the week as well. Okay, it is uh, new releases. What do we have for new releases? New releases yep. we have, and this is going to be the week of the 19th to the 25th. Okay. Um, Which we're in. Which we are in, yep. yep. Is Sims 4 Tiny Living, which is another... Oh. Sims 4 so wait, DLC. So I gotta I gotta build these little houses and then have my, my avatar kinda cramp in there in style. Can I make a, a toilet that converts it's into probably a probably for hot minimalists? Seat? Huh? Probably for minimalists. Oh great. Now we got gaming minimalists? I don't know. How long is, how many DLCs minimalist? have they made for Sims 4? When are they just gonna make a new Sims? I don't know. It's kinda weird. It got a six or it's got a yeah, six user average. Yeah. Um I mean, so I guess that's cool. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's... how long is the game? You solve the game in like two minutes if you're building the the small house. It's like wall, wall, toilet, and no, the game's fridge. forever. Especially when they're adding all these DLCs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, it was weird. I got that game by um, by, I mean, like I kind of like hacked it on my computer. I don't I don't like saying the word hacked because it's no, weird. No, it's illegal. You go to jail right now. There's there's police officers watching right now. Um, I don't know. I it said like. I said, like, I really wanted the game. It was really expensive for yeah. me back then, and, like, five years ago, it was, like, 20 bucks. So I was, like, so I just looked up how to get Sims 4 for free. I went through those weird websites, weird everything, downloaded it off of, like, WinRAR, which I've never heard of before. Now I'm more familiar with it. And then got the game. We're not talking anything illegal here in Canada. No, right? I don't know what it was. It was kind of weird. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I finally got the game. Yourself right now. He pleads the fifth. I tried it. I'm just saying, uh, I was a smart man on those computers when I was younger. I just figured stuff out. Right. But yeah, I ended up getting it, and uh, it was really fun. But okay. I don't know how they keep coming out with DLCs. All right. uh, I don't see anything else in this week. Uh, a lot of indie games still. Um, yeah, there's tons of indie games coming out. Anything for next week? I mean, is there any big titles coming out? I mean, we're in January. February, there's a lot of launches, so there's yeah. got to be something down the pike. Right? I don't mean, you know, bass fishing. The Bass Master Pike fishing game. Mm. Ark Survival Evolved Genesis. Oh, that's coming out. Okay. So Genesis is going to be the next DLC for that. Of Ark? Of Ark, yeah. And it's that got a seven on the user too. average. Right. Uh, yeah, so Ark... Is I... that the one where you battle um, dinosaurs? It's Ride like them? a survival game, but you tame dinosaurs. Oh, you tame... Of course you do. Or you, ba- you have to battle them to tame them, but... Yeah. Yeah. That's realistic. Mm. You have to, like, knock them out and then feed them when they wake oh. up. Oh, right. You actually beat them down, and then you go, oh, I'm so sorry. Here's here's a here's a lion. Here's a yeah. seal. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, that's it. There I mean, go. there's the Darwin Project. I almost tried to make a sound effect of the seal. I caught myself. And yeah. Stopped. No. Like a walrus. A walrus mouth. Mm, you didn't really catch yourself. Oh, okay. No, I shouldn't do that. No, you didn't no, catch yourself that time. Doesn't work good. Okay. Um, but yeah, Darwin Project. It says it's coming for the PC, but I've had it for a while. The Steam. Darwin Project. Well, that's a long game. You have to keep running over and over. Let's see how long it takes for you to lose your tailbone. What is, what is like, Darwin? Like 
project. Years and years and years. Darwinism means like the uh, survival of the fittest. Like if you don't need a tail, we got rid of it. We still have a little tailbone less. Maybe it's going to shrink down to nothing. It's the anti-goddists. No, okay, well, no. that makes sense because this is a survival of the fittest game. Right. Where you have to, they it's better like a battle speed up royale. time because I'm telling you why. It's going to take a while. Well, there's 10 of them. Or not 10 of them. <laughs> what am I saying? There's 10 people in a game. Right. And... Uh, it's like it's in this little map. I played with a friend once and you have to go around and like um, Like find materials craft coats. It was actually a really fun game uh, Just craft coats. Yeah, it's winter. It's cold. Do you have to like take the lambs or the sheep? Yeah, you gotta make a, a fire There's bows and I don't know and put it, it together game. on you. Yeah, it's kind of like that coats on um Dead, Red Dead Redemption. They all ran around looking like they're wearing sheep. Mm. It's pretty cool. And that was, that's to February 1st. So That's it? No, nope, there's nothing else. Nothing else going on? Okay, maybe there will be. Coolio, coolio. All right, so a couple things. This is the nostalgia stand we almost forgot about. Look at these games I found. I'm going through my stuff as we made the move to the new place. Dark Forces, awesome game. Still have a look at it. Look at who's in the back. What do you put that disc in? What do you mean when you put the disc in? You put it into a computer. Mm. What, you have a computer that has a disk drive? Yeah, I believe. It's acting like this is like so old technology. I have I'll show you next week. I'll bring out my floppy uh five and a quarter inch floppy drive. I'm gonna do oh it. I'm gonna bring them out. I think I still have gosh. a bunch. That game, Jedi. Look at that gameplay. I don't know if you can see that. That okay. is old. Huh? That Here is, is the collection old. I gotta keep though. The best collection ever, Command and Conquer. The original game, right there it is, worth ton tons of money. What Probably you... not. What or, is that thing? I don't know. Some kind of uh, robot thing. Mm. Look at Yaris. Yuri. Yaris. Yaris. Yuri's. Yuri's. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. How did you know? I'm the one that played it. That's the main Yuri's character in Spider-Man. I don't know. What? It's the main. That's the. That's a character in Spider-Man game. That's how I know. Really? Yeah. He got moved over to the Spider-Man. No, no. Just the right. name Yuri. Well, he was like a main villain for this. So he had this special uh, expansion series that kicked butt. It was really cool. But then. Command and Conquer's Generals came out. Why this is so cool? This is one of the first really good first-person shooter uh, games that really kicked Wait. butt on it. So if you look at it... That doesn't look first-person shooter. Hey, there's versions of first-person shooter. I don't know. Wait, um, which one is that? The ver Generals, right? Uh-oh, I better double-check. Maybe I've been thinking about a wrong game the whole time. I got caught on camera making a wrong statement. Wait, no, there was generals. I know there was a part where... Now yeah, I'm going to look it up because it was the first person. You ran around and you shot, but it does look like it's a uh, another strategy thing. All right, I'm going to go double check it. If it's not, I'm going to go find it because I'm sure I have it in my collection. Mm -hmm. But awesome games. Awesome games. Um, generals. Maybe it was. Maybe it was called Revenger, Revengers or something. Yuri's Revenge? No... I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyways, good game. Still have them. And to my collection. I'll probably break out an old PC one day and load them back up. And play hmm. it. So, cool. Anything else cooking? Nope. That's it? That's it. All right. Uh, oh, by the way, you want to be on the show? We got this new feature called Romper Room. That's right. So if you tweet us and tell us your uh, game. I get it. I know you don't because you never saw okay. the show. Oh. So those that are above uh, 40 years old, probably, that, that listen, which is probably... Me and my buddies. I don't know. Mm. We'll see. All your all your fans out there. Um, yeah. So what you do is just tweet us your gamer tag, and I'll simply hold this up and say your name on the air. Why? Oh, you gotta watch it. Just YouTube it. No. Is, is it a puppet? No, it's a puppet. It literally. What happens though is when they do it, they actually cut this out, and then you see my face staring through this as though I'm looking at a mirror, right? So when you do that. Then you say the person's name as though you're staring at them. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty freaky. Go look at it. Just, just YouTube. Type in Romper Room Magic Mirror, and we'll do that. So all you gotta do is send your gamer tag okay. in, and we'll, we'll announce you. It'll be a fun time. We'll have so much fun. All right. Anything else? Nope. That's it. All right. Thanks for joining us. Uh, how do they get hold of us? They want to do that? How do they uh, hit us on Twitter? Joystickshow at gmail.com, joystickshow.com, at joystick underscore show on Twitter, Discord at joystick show, or comment down below. Very cool. If you're watching. I'm awesome. Here. All right. We'll try to make this back quicker, faster, more fun. Yeah. That's what she did. All right. And until next time, game on.